Hey guys, uh, Chris the Carpenter here. I'm still fighting this god awful cold. Don't get it. Uh, okay, hey, I I asked in the forums if uh, a servo output could talk to a pickaxe, and I can't remember who got it right, but they nailed it, and I'll mention that in the post. Um, here's what I got. This is a, a transmitter off of a Vex um, a Vex robot kit. It's what those parts are from for that guy. And uh, here's the receiver. For all intents and purposes, this, this is just a model airplane receiver with standard servo outputs. I've tied the data line and the ground together into uh, just a regular um, digital input on my pickaxe here. And uh, using the pulse in command, um, pulse in. Uh, and then that turns into a word uh, value or variable. In this case, it's spitting out between 0 and 255, which is kind of convenient. Um, uh, sticks into a word variable, and then I've got that word variable stuck into my pulse width modulation code. So here we go. Oh, let me scoot back so you can see both. OK, here we go. Now, tell me that isn't cool. And I reckon with a variable of between 0 and 255 in a word value, you could use these commands coming from here, going into the pulse in command of the pickaxe for just about anything. In this case, um, this is a six channel remote, uh, two on each side, and it's got two in the back. Uh, I think I basically have a five channel remote with one of these guys in the back to uh, be able to toggle through lines of code in the uh, or line, the commands in the code. So I think I have an infinite number of commands. I have five channels to be reused as many times as I want. I can just click, 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 scroll through chunks of code. So um, I'll put my code in this post. It's super, super simple. And uh, much love to whoever got that one right. But uh, yes, your pickaxe can talk to a model airplane uh, uh, receiver. I'm sick of this cold. Peace out.